Well, I had another idea, and I've seen people have uh, solar batch heaters outside and solar coils and stuff waiting for the sun and stuff, but I was also seeing videos with these little propane wood stoves, and you know, I was thinking, why can't I just, let me see if I can adjust this a little bit better so it's more clear, maybe, I don't know if I can or not, I guess I'm better off like this, making my little stove like this, right, got my door, got my chimney, and I just make a coil here, going around the end of this round stove here that I can put on and off, add some, you know, little flex hoses between the water tank here, and uh, have the cold coming in here and the hot going out up here and some kind of convection should go on here um, with the cold water should come down into this and then as it heats up it should come up, up around and I think it'll work without turning off the pressure hopefully it might not but if it doesn't work without turning off the pressure then I'll just uh, I'll, I'll put a valve here and I'll shut that off when I'm heating up the water and then I'll open it up when it's shower time and dishes time and stuff and this is just one of the little pictures I got here I got kind of the poor man the poor man's water heater I'm calling it it's a propane wood stove you know I got the coil on here and um, it's on and off by just pulling it off of the end of it when you when you don't want hot water and putting it on the end when you do ha want hot water. I'm, I'm skeptical about how hot this might get being attached to a wood stove. So I don't want to overheat it. I don't want to get it too, so hot where the temperature thing is always just going off. So I figured, you know, in the morning time, the fire's always kind of a little low anyways. So why not, you know, attach this thing in the morning time when the temperature's a little bit low. You shouldn't crack any of the pipes. Just use some brass type pipes and, uh, you put it on there, stoke up the fire, you know, go and, and, and make your coffee or whatever on top of it while the hot, while the water's circulating in there. And, uh, you know, you should probably have some hot water within, you know, an hour or so of getting up and restoking your fire and whatnot. And, you know, it might work. I don't know. I'm going to try it. Um, please feel free to comment if you have any additional ideas. Um... I also, I got another page here where I uh, I kind of show the, the, I want the air to come in here and I want this door, I want it to be nice and airtight. I got a piece of glass off this old, uh, off an old pellet stove. I'm going to, I'm going to weld on here real nice so I can see inside. It's, it's that real thick glass. It's not really glass. It's like that cut crystal stuff. I forget what it's called. But, um, um, the propane used to, you know, be screwed down into there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make like a, like a upside down bowl, and I'm going to drill a bunch of holes around it, and I'm going to weld a, a bolt to it so I can just unscrew it and screw it in to to manage my airflow going in to manage my fire, and that should work. I'm thinking a couple of fire bricks on the back side where this is, where the air is going to come through, and figuring a couple of fire bricks on the back side over here on the inside of it and uh, I was thinking on the inside on the bottom I'll just you know put a couple of rails going all the way across it and just weld weld some uh, rods back and forth on it and have this thing probably well I probably don't want to weld them down I'll probably just weld it all together like a like a basket top or something set it in there so my ashes and stuff fall down um, I was thinking about kind of making a, a cover on the inside where these holes come down to force the air to be pushed in through the bottom, but I don't know if I want to do that or not yet. I think that might be going a little too far. Um, as it is on the inside here, underneath this piece that I cut out for the, that came off the original part on the inside of the door, the outside of the door is bigger, of course, but I was thinking of flipping that over and welding that on the inside here so the flames can't just go directly up the pipe. They gotta travel along that and, and to the back here where the fire bricks are before it can go up into there. I think that'll probably raise the safety level on this little homemade contraption. 
So I think I'm going to do the bottom of it holding it on. I'm not sure how I'm going to do the bottom yet because I want to make sure the water works first. If the water heater part doesn't work on it, I'm going to put it in a different spot in my house. So just depending on, on whether this little water heater thing works or not depends on where this thing goes. So that's going to depend. So that's going to, that's going to make up how the feet are and everything. So, well, anyways, that's my idea. Um, I do actually have uh, part of it started here. Um, I'm going to get a grinder and finish stuff up. This is going to be the top here. I'm going to finish cutting this hole. And i got a couple of slits cut on the side of it here. And these are going to be my hinges. I'm going to weld these down on this side of it. And then I'll, I'll lift these up here and I'll, I'll weld the lid to the inside of that so when it closes... All you'll see on the top here is is the top of these uh, hinges, just like in a door, you know, like a house door. Well, that's what I got them off of. And then this piece that comes off of here, I want to kind of flip over and weld up underneath here so the fire doesn't go directly at that. It's got to go up to the fire bricks. It'll be on this side. And here's, here's where the gas was put in that's got the threads and everything. I wanted to put all the holes on here like this all the way around you know out to however far I decide to build the, the little upside down bowl looking thing and uh, you know, here's a, an example this is aluminum so it won't work but here's an example you know I, I, can, I can put this on the end and then I can unscrew it and screw it in so it you know gets farther and closer to let more air in or, or to stop air and uh, I think it is a good little project and I will keep everybody that is tuned into my channel updated on my progress thank you